decide no, to no, do. No. They'll begin the drive with Collins. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. And again, it's Collins. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. The Ravens on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Throwing is Jackson. And able to find John Brown. John Brown, 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. John Brown with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens cut into that lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot in the end zone and made it pay off. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Falls, this is my theme of Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now Newton. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Here's McCaffrey. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Now Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. A gain of three, second down bottom line they want to keep this clock rolling so they'll take that one right there they just want to keep falling forward and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home now it's Newton rush coming and he's taken down 
This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Out of the gun, Newton. And that pressure gets to him again. C.J. Mosley able to disrupt yet another pass play, his third sack of the afternoon. But it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, he's got a big leg, and when everything comes together, he can certainly hit from long range, but this one's going to come up just a little bit short. A very good effort, though. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Caught right side, it's Snead. The 20, 10, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Willie Snead. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens get a bit closer. Yeah, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. Tucker with the extra point, Nothing and the lead will be cut Defense. down to 14. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. What was once a really comfortable lead is not so comfortable anymore. Down to a two score game after they've seen a pair of touchdowns go against him on those last two drives. Yeah, they've got to find a way to get off of autopilot right now, okay? Get back to what was working for them earlier. Understand that they still have a two score lead. So it's not dire. But at the same time, okay, guys, let's mash the gas. Let's get going again. Let's have some fun. To throw on second down is Newton. Oh, and now he... And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. C.J. Mosley. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Third and long, it's Newton. And he's going to go down again. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Jones on the return. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going. That's caught inside the 20. They give him a gain of 37. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back in that Philly, here we go. No, 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 check, Patriot, Patriot. Ah! Jackson on first down. His pass caught at the four. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. John Brown, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have cut it to within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. 
Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Carolina getting set to take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Throwing here, Newton. And his throw here is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. The Panthers on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and 11. Now it's Newton. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Newton. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Newton to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And right with it here, over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. Here's Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And his kick is right there. It's good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA. So long, everybody.